All right, as you can see, we got all the all the old engine parts removed. Gas tank, I don't know if you can see that in the video right now, but of course the engine is removed and the ignition box is removed. And uh, so anyway, I got my little three horsepower four stroke here and I'm gonna see how well it fits in this frame. I'm kind of hoping to save these uh, hard mounts that I made uh, for that little two stroke engine. Uh, mainly just because, you know, I've welded on the frame. This is pretty thin tubing. And uh, when you heat it, and cool it, heat it, and cool it, you can weaken the tube. Uh, plus, I'd have to grind, if I cut them off, I'd have to grind all this area smooth, in which, if I'm not careful, uh, I could grind into the base material and make it even thinner than it already is. So, I'm kind of hoping that I can uh, hang on to those if I can. Uh, then I'll have to cut them off. So, let's give this a shot. Try this out. See how it fits into the frame. This clutch cable's in the way. I'll remove that. Alright, here we go. Well, it's snug, but it looks like it's at least going to fit in the frame in this sort of triangular area. It is going to fit there. Uh, I'm going to have to ditch this little adapter plate and just go off the base of the motor and uh, yeah doesn't look like I'm going to be able to keep uh, these motor mounts that I already welded on. So I think I'm going to have to cut those off. And also, let's see how this looks. Yeah, this motor is going to have to be way, way offset to the right that is sitting on the bike. Uh, it would be on the right side for the clutch, for the chain line to, to be accurate. So, uh, might have to think about that. Might have to make a little jack shaft kind of thing so that I can more center the engine in the frame. And uh, so we'll see. But uh, the good news is this engine does fit within the frame rail. And I was kind of a little bit worried about that. I measured and measured and measured. Uh, but until you actually get it and set it in the frame, uh, it can be hard to tell. So good news is uh, it does fit. So that's a good start. So we'll set that down. I'll come in here. I'll get the cutoff disc and I'll cut off those engine mounts. And here goes nothing. And there we go. Got them both cut off, and uh, I'll just come in here, clean everything up, and uh, then we'll figure out a new uh, motor plate. All right, as you can see here, I got everything all ground smooth, and uh, we're ready to test fit the engine again. I left some weld material on there because, like I said before, I don't want to grind 
too far into this tubing because it's already uh, pretty thin. This is uh, very likely uh, 18 gauge, possibly even 20 gauge wall thickness uh, tubing. Uh, it is steel, uh, so I can weld on it. Uh, so anyway, I'll uh, test fit that motor again and we'll see how we are. Okay, so we got those old motor mounts cut out of there. I also got the bracket uh, off the bottom of the engine. So we'll test fit it here again. Oh yeah, we got tons of room. And uh, yeah, it's still gonna need to be offset here to the right for that uh, chain line to work properly. So, uh, it does go all the way in fuel cap would be hard to remove and fill it up with gas. I could modify that. But there's not a lot of room there for a jack shaft. So I think for the time being, I'm just going to make a plate that would bring this motor over and uh, line it up with the chain ring. It would be offset to the right, but I'm not too worried about that right now. One other thing, hold on to your little plate that it came with, because this is a perfect template. These four holes here, perfect template uh, for when you're drilling your mounting holes uh, in your new motor plate. So just hang on to this. All right, and here's uh, my motor plate. Uh, it's 16 gauge, uh, just plain old hot rolled steel. And I've got my motor plate, uh, sketched out it's at least on mine it's nine and a half long and it's eight inches wide and it really only needs to be seven but I'm going to add a half inch uh, break to each side to give this some strength so uh, I'll cut it out then I'll mark it again and set it up in the sheet metal break and uh, bend these corners up 90 degrees to give it some little more rigidity